Shalom. All praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem Rakaq Wadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And Shalom to the Akim that are teaching this word. Shalom Yahweh, Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem Rakaq Wadash. As you can see here, it's, a, it's an article that I came across and it says, Can we live forever? New age. New anti-aging V could bring immortality one step closer. You know, this is, you know, Esau pushing, you know, a theory of basically immortality pretty much, man. Which we know according to the scriptures that immortality, and he's saying it's going to come through a, a, through a form of a, a V, you know. Which that's, you know, es in Esau's, deep down Esau's mentality, he wishes he could, you know, they could live forever, man. That's what they, they really want. You know, you, I'm going to read some of this article and I've got some scriptures written, but you check out that movie uh, Get Out. The whole point of that movie Get Out was, you know, they were trying to live forever. They were taking, they were, take, they were experimenting on, on uh, Israelites, on Jake's, you know, and to take the, you know, to, they wanted their bodies pretty much, man. Why? So they can have immortality, man. But that's not promised unto Esau. Immortality, you know, is promised unto Israelites, man, unto Negroes, unto Latinos and Native Americans, man. So I'm going to read this here. Can we live forever? New anti-aging V could bring immortality one step closer. All right. It says new techniques targeting cells that that help cause aging, help cause aging could help people live longer, healthier lives and have already been proven to work in mice. All right. So he's experimenting on these things. All right. Because that's what Esau wants. Esau wants to basically like really, really Esau, the Edomites, want to be us, they want to be the children of Israel, man, because they know the blessings that we have, that's why them devils in the land of Israel, Amalek, that's why they go so hard in calling themselves, you know, the basic calling themselves the Jews, man, all right, they, they, they go so hard in calling themselves the people of the Lord when they're not, because they know the blessings that, that comes with it, it says, what if we could live forever, it's a question long pondered by fictional supervillains, and Silicon Valley billionaires are like, yeah, it's funny. He said by fictional supervillains, because th because when you um you know you check out those Marvels and stuff, man, the villains pretty much you know are immortal, man. Apocalypse, Thanos, you know, there's many of them, man. Um, the Silver Surfer, Galactus, um, which you know Galactus is like basically the Most High, and Silver Surfer is basically like Yahweh Shai, man. He's a destroyer of planets, man. In um, in uh, in the Marvel, so but they get that from the scriptures, because Yahweh Shai, he's basically immortal, man. Yahweh Shai, he's all powerful, he's immortal, you know, he's Superman pretty much, and Yah and uh, Yahweh, the Father, he's a he's an almighty being, you know, untouchable being, the Creator. And we're gonna be bestowed these things also, the Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, the believers, and all Israel in the end, we're gonna be bestowed these things, and these elites know that, man. You see, so it says, now researchers in Japan say they have taken a step toward boosting human longevity with successful trials of vaccine, vaccine against the cells that contribute to, to the aging process. In laboratory trials, a drug, targ a drug targeting a protein contained in a senescent, sen senescent cells, those which have naturally stopped reproducing themselves slowed the progression of frailty in older mice the researchers from tokyo's Jun juntendo university said the vaccine also oh so lucky i said that word right the v also successfully targeted the sensitant cells in fatty tissue and blood vessels suggesting that it it could have a pos positive impact on other medical conditions alike to aging we we can expect that the, that the v will be applied to the treatment of arterial stiffening, diabetes and other aging related d diseases. Juntendo professor Toro Minamino told Japan's GG News Agency, what is, what is a cellular sensor, sen, sen, senescence? Cells become senescent when, hopefully I'm reading that word right, cells become senescent when they stop du duplicating themselves, often in response to naturally occurring damage to their DNA, cellular senescence is thought to contribute to the aging process itself, as well as, as well as age, aging-related diseases like Alzheimer's and some cancers. Senescent cells secrete a series of factors that disrupt the function of the tissue. Dr. Salvador Masip 
head of University of Leicester's me Mechanism of Cancer and Aging Lab, told Euronews Next. All right. It says, they call cells from the immune system in theory to be cleared by them, but that eventually fails and create a chronic low-level inflammation mixed with fibrosis, Masip said. Masip was part of an international team of academics from universities in the UK, Spain, Nigeria and Saudi Arabia that published research on another method of tackling senescent cells in October this year. The biological process of aging is very complex, therefore it is unlikely that one single strategy will completely stop it. So they're saying that, they're, yeah, because it says the biological process of aging all right, it's very complex, therefore it's unlikely that one single, yeah, because it's, it's, you age because that's, you know, how the most I set it, man, you know, you can't, you don't live forever on this earth, we're born, we're, one thing that's for certain is that you're born and you age and you pass away, man, but Esau being the mad scientist that he is, you know, he funds all sorts of money into experimenting, you know, processes on how to, to live forever, man, that, that's, that's the mentality of, you know, someone that is trying to be, trying to play the role of the Heavenly Father, man. And we've been saying that for years, man. That's why even in Esau's cities, man, you know, it's filled with CCTV cameras, you know, that Big Brother's watching spirit because Esau's trying to play the Most High, man. Whereas the Most High doesn't need cameras to see everything. Esau, you know, he needs that to, you know, because he, he needs to, he thinks he's the, he wants to be the Most High, basically. That's how mad this man this man is, man. And now they're obviously they've been doing this for years anyway, trying these um, you know medicines that can help you never to age. You know, it says the biological process of aging is very complex. Therefore, it is unlikely that one single strategy will completely stop it or reverse it. However, there are probably many ways to slow it down, and clearing senescent cells seems to be one of the easiest and potentially more effective. He said. The limit of lifespan in laboratory tests preventing the buildup of senescent cells extended the lifespan of mice by 15 percent i mean this is the point you know this is the point you know esau you know is is saying that they're you know they're coming up with new new medicines that can to help bring about immortality eventually you know and you know the the the, the, the level of you know uh, wisdom that the Lord's given Esau, you know, he's probably come up with things close. Not that they're gonna help you aid, uh, live forever, but you know, things that they have these things that things that can make your body stronger, things that can, you know, help you to, um, you know, run faster, things that can. So I wouldn't be surprised if Esau's, you know, coming close to trials of medicines that can extend your life a little longer. You know, uh, you watch that movie. There's a movie. Um, you know, it's called, I believe it's called Death Becomes Her. Let me see if I can see it, if I can see it here. Because I'm going to go into the scriptures now. I'm going to go into the scriptures now. But I want to see this. Um, yeah, this movie here. If you see this movie here, I'm going to go, I want to go, um, you know, uh, back into the uh, scriptures in a minute. But this movie here, just because that article made me think about this movie, it just came into my mind, Death Becomes Her. When you watch this movie, what's this movie about? It's got Bruce Willis, Goldie Hawn, and Meryl Streep. And in the movie, it's about these Hollywood actresses. And, and Bruce Willis is like a scientist who, who has come up with this potion. And you drink the potion and it helps you to remain young. All right, and all these Hollywood actresses, you know, they, they, they basically start killing each other over it the the med, the actual medicine because they want to remain young they want to have their, they want to have that young look still you know young bodies tight skin type of thing basically you have to see the movie it's a good movie it basically shows you what that article was saying they they're trying to be immortal that's why you see these hollywood actresses man they always and actors they're doing plastic surgeries and you know they they they're eating the cleanest of foods because they're trying to remain young man they want that immortal uh, immortality, they want to remain in their youth forever, man. But hey, that's not how the Lord set it up. You, this, this is a good movie, Death Becomes Her. It shows you that. So anyway, I'm, I'm talking too much, so I'm going to get into the scriptures here. This is Psalms 49 and 11. It says, Their inward thought is that their houses shall continue forever, and their dwelling places to all generations. They call their lands after their own names. Yeah, which, is, which is really going into Esau, you know, his... Um, 
you know, he's he, basically everything that they've stolen, they think is going to continue forever, man. You know, and A, if East, and pretty much everything that they've stopped, yeah, so their inward thought is their houses shall continue forever. I mean, they, they're going to continuously have everything that they have pretty much. They're never going to go down. And that's part of Esau's pride, man. And this, this kind of falls into that mentality of that immortality as well. You think you're going to keep going forever, man, pretty much. That's these elites. They think their houses are going to continue forever. They, you know, some of them even, you know, are so proud. You know, they try and extend their lives to, if they could to live. If they could, they'll try and extend their lives um, to live forever, man, immortality. But, they, you know, it's not going to happen. Like, hey, that movie's funny because the movie... Um, uh, the Get Out movie that was filmed in one of the Rockefellers' houses, man. I'm not sure which Rockefeller it was, you know. And you know, um, last year, a couple of years ago, one of those Rockefellers passed away, and he, he, the dude had like six heart transplants, man, to 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 live forever. He wanted to s still be alive, pretty much. You know, they're trying to defy the Most High, man. So that's their thing. They think that they it says their inward thought is that their houses shall continue forever, and their dwellings places to all generations. They call their lands after their own names. Nevertheless, man being in honor abideth not. He is like the he is like the beast that perisheth. Exactly, because eventually, you know, men perish, man. Eventually, you have, you know you you're born. One one thing's for certain, as they say, you're born and you pass away, man. Eventually, you're gonna perish, man. You can't. When it's your time to go, it's your time to go, man. But these devils, they wanna live forever, man. They want their generations to continue forever. If they could, they, they would want to be alive forever, you know? But hey, immortality is not promised unto you, man. And look, death is, you know, a sentence that we, we you know, we have to um, abide with now on the earth because we sinned, man, pretty much. So we pass, we sinned. So death is like a sentence that, you know, we, the Israelites, especially, well, Negro, Latinos, Native Americans, the reason we die is because we sinned, man. All right, but see, in the kingdom, we're gonna have immortality. We're gonna be changed. We're not gonna. We're gonna have a full life, man. We're gonna live forever, pretty much. You know, like back in the ancient world, men lived. Men lived longer, longer um, lives. All right, you didn't die to like today. People die at thirty years old, forty years old, fifty, sixty. That's young, really. You know, but that's how the Lord's degenerated our our physical in this realm, man, because of our sin. But in the ancient world, men lived, you know, 300, 400 years old, 500 years old, 600 years old, and they were still um, strong and healthy. It tells you that. It tells you. It tells you when Moses passed, man, he's he was still strong. He was his eyes were not dim. It says, I believe it says his eyes were not dim, man, when Moses was passing, and he was up in age, but he was still a firm, strong man, man. Not like today, you man. You 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 get like 50 years old, you got a broken back. I mean, anyway, let me read this. This is Psalms 90 and 10. It says, The days of our years are three score, year, three score years and ten. That's 70 years. The days of men's years on this earth is 70 years, man. And if by reason of strength, then... If, and if by reason of strength, they be four score years. Yeah, and if, you know, if, you, if, you're, if, if the Lord allows your days to be extended, you know, it will become four score years. So you'll be eight years old, man. Yet is their strength. Yet is their, yet is their strength, labor, and sorrow. For it is soon cut off, and we fly away. Exactly, because after those, majority of people don't live past the, um, you know the 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 eighty mark. Really, you know, you got people that live up to ninety, a hundred, but that, that's the limit, man. You know. So it says, yet is the, so it says, for so it says the days of our years are three score. Years and ten, yeah, three scores are three twenties and 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 ten, which would be seventy years old, and if and it says, and if by reason of strength they be four score years, yeah, then if the Lord allows it to continue, you add another ten years onto that, eighty years old. That's pretty much like the lifespan in this realm that we're in, man. And that's how far that's how far we've fallen, man. Where you die at like eighty years old and. And by the time you even get to 80, your body is finished, it's degenerated, you're, 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 you look old, you know, in this world, man, all right? So that, that's how these elites, they know about immortality and the kingdom and what's promised unto the Israelites. That's why they want to, they, they, you know, they, they do, they fund, they, they put so much money into their scientists trying to find these miracles, man, for them, earthly miracles. But hey, it's not going to happen, man. 
you know, not on the level that the Lord's going to do it. So it says, yet is there strength and labor, yet is there strength, labor and sorrow, for it is soon cut off and we fly away. Exactly. So you, 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 eventually, you, 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 the things that are certain in this life is that you're born and you die, man. All right? That's certain, man. And we die predominantly, if you, if you get to live up, up into your 80s, man, you're lucky, man, in this realm, man. All right? This is 1 Corinthians 15, and, and I'll, go, I'll start on 51. I'll end it here. It says, Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep. But we, sh but we shall all be changed Exactly This is talking about the Israelites the, the mystery is that We shall not all sleep Meaning You know We're not all going to pass man But we shall be changed Alright In a moment In a twinkling of an eye At the last trump For the trumpet shall sound And the dead shall be raised Incorruptible And we shall be changed Exactly That's when our Lord returns man See when our Lord returns Onto the earth Alright We're going to be changed The brothers that believe When we get beamed up Into the ships It says in a twinkling of an eye man at the last trump and when the destructions will take in place and the, the the helpful elect the believers of Yahweh Shai, you know, when the Lord returns, we're gonna be beamed up in them ships, man. At the last trump, for the trumpet shall the trumpet shall sound and the dead shall be raised incorruptible and we shall be changed, exactly. Because we're gonna be put into them uh, incorruptible bodies, man. The dead shall be raised incorrupt. We're gonna be changed into those incorruptible bodies. Soup basically extraterrestrial bodies like superman man that's what the lord's gonna give us man you know and in those bodies you, you know you're gonna be immortal you ain't gonna be aging like we do now man we're gonna be changed with all any ailment that we ever had is gonna disappear just like that just like see how esau has to do all these experiments and tests to to try and attain these things your is gonna give it to us you know just like that in a twinkling of an eye as your just by touching us is gonna change us man all right, shall be raised incorruptible and we shall be changed. For this corruptible must put on incorruption and this mortal must put on immortality. Exactly, because these bodies we're in now are corrupt. And the Lord knows that. He put us, that's the test that we're in. We're in a corrupt world and corrupt flesh and corrupt bodies. And we have to overcome this world, man. And in the end, if, you know, if, if the Lord deems it, deems it fit that, you know, we've done the right thing, he's going to change us, man. For the elect, the hopeful elect is going to be changed. It says, for this corruptible must put on incorruption, and this mortal must put on immortality. Exactly, we must put on immortal bodies, man. That's 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 what we're going to receive, man. So it says, so when this corruptible shall have put on incorruption, and this mortal shall have put on immortality, then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written, death is swallowed up in victory. All right? O death, where is thy sting? O grave, where is thy victory? Yeah, because we ain't going to die, man. That's going to be, that death is going to be overcome when Yahweh Shai returns and beams us, beams us up and delivers us and changes our flesh from these corruptible bodies to the immortal bodies. You know, we ain't going to die no more, man. That's going to be it. We ain't going to be reaching 80 and pass. That's going to be a thing of the past, man. You know, reaching 80 and passing away. We're going to be put into them supermen, angelic-like bodies, man, where we can go from the earth to the spiritual realm, we can do what we want, man. We can run with innumerable speed. You know, we can, um, we can fly, you know. Y your skin's going to be impenetrable. Hey, man. So, hey, that, that whole spirit of immortality is only reserved for the Israelites, man. The, the immor immortal f bodies are reserved only for the children of Israel, man. All right, so with that, I'm going to say all praises unto Yahweh, Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and shalom to the Akim that are teaching this word. Shalom, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh, Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakaq, Wadash. Shalom, Shalom.